know, Chelsea, last time we went fishing, you mentioned that one of your favorite things to do was to squirrel hunt using a dog. Yes, absolutely. This is Copper. He's about two and a half years old, and he totally changes the game with squirrel hunting. He sees us put on camouflage, and he's ready to go. He knows what's about to happen. The last time we were out kayak fishing, it was just you and I. This time you brought your fiance along. I sure did, yeah. So it's pretty cool, you know, young, young couple, and. You guys love to hunt and fish together. Yes, we've really enjoyed being together and getting to experience all this stuff together. And we got this dog two and a half years ago and he's been a lot of fun for us to just continue to hang out and learn more about each other. All right, that sounds pretty promising. Get him, Copper. Here it is, setting right here at Fox Water. Yep. Right here on this little end of this cedar tree here. I believe you can probably get in spot there and get a good shot. You hit the branch, pop it on it. There it is. Nice shot. Thank you. That's a big old fox squirrel there. <laughs> Look at it. Good boy, oh, Copper. Oh man, the dog, they absolutely love that. That's what yeah. he lives for right there. Leave it. I'll tell you what, you get about two that size, you got a mess. Come here, Cop. Pretty good size fox squirrel. So if a dog picks up a scent and he knows that a squirrel's went up that tree, when this squirrel changes trees, some of these dogs will move with them. Uh, he might have one now. When they timber out, he's really good about keeping his eye on them, so he's probably one of the better ones we have that can follow that squirrel anywhere. There he goes. He's bailing out. He's bailing. Where? Oh! Up here. He's up here. Can we get him? Yeah, go ahead to get shot. Stay on him, Copper. I think he's still in this one. Oh, I see. Go up there and get him. There we go. I think he was slightly holding He on. just jumped out. Get him, cop. There we go. That's, Good boy. Yeah, that, Good boy, uh, cop. that squirrel's bailing out. Like, you hit it, and Come it was here. hanging in there. Come here, buddy. He's like, hey, Leave this it. is mine. I worked hard for this Good squirrel. Good boy. Good boy. I believe you got it. Nice shot. We got two squirrels, one gray, one, uh, one fox squirrel. There you go. Nice job. Good boy. Nice job. Good boy, so, cover. I never did see that thing setting. It bailed out before we really got on it, didn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Know what tree it's on. Oh, I see it. I can see the squirrel, but I don't have an angle on it. Yeah, I got a, got it's, a pretty uh, good it's shot up at that, it. Up that, uh, that locust tree, that thorn tree, all the way up where it splits, it's on the left hand branch. Probably about 20 feet from there. There you go. Get it, cop. There you go. Good boy. There hey, we go. That, that was a great shot. Thank you. Nice job. Good boy. He looks pretty proud. You should be proud. That was great. <laughs> There's a lot of squirrels in here, man. Chelsea, how much were you into hunting before you two started dating? Not much. I mean, I've always been into uh, shooting guns and stuff with my dad because he's in law enforcement. I think I went deer hunting and maybe squirrel hunting with him once or twice when I was a kid, but I was so big into sports. Never really big time hunters until meeting with Jordan and then that's just kind of like our thing to do. I know some young couples that, uh, that do hunt a lot together and they all seem like they have great relationships because when you get to do something that you really, really, really enjoy doing with someone you really enjoy doing it around, it just makes for a special bond, you know? This dog is adamant that it's on this tree and you can look at this tree and see hoes all over it. Definitely a good place to hide out. I'm sure that in the couple years you guys have been hunting together, she's probably taught you a thing or two though. A lot of patience. <laughs> yeah. Taught me patience and uh, you know, taking a step back to when I was in her shoes, learning the ropes. So, uh, you know, kind of coaching her through stuff and teaching her all the stuff that I learned growing up. They say the absolute best way to learn something is to teach it, right? It is. And if you think you know something really well when you teach it and you start explaining to someone why you, why you do certain things you do, it makes you look at it from fresh new eyes. So I'm sure that's been a really cool situation for you, even though you've been hunting all your entire life. Get on the tree. That sounds promising. I'll tell you what, I bet when these squirrels run in there and jump in these cedar trees like this, it works 100% of the time, most of the time. Right there, see it? I think I see a tail, but. Oh, I think I see it. Oh yeah, I see it. Right there in the very, it's within the last six or seven feet of the top of that tree. Oh, yeah. You got a shot? No, too many branches. Here, Chelsea. 
Jesus. I don't know if I can get him with a shotgun. Squeeze the trigger. We've got this squirrel up here. We've seen it, but we can't get a really, really clean headshot. Only way to get it out is a shotgun. Hey, be ready. Well, you already got the shotgun. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> we got faith in you. Here it comes. Get him, cop. Good boy, copper. I knew after uh, he got on the ground that we were going <laughs> to see a little shake going on. I'll tell you what, that joker went to the very, very, very tallest yeah. part of that cedar tree. Yeah. Just said, hey, I'm going to hang out right here, and you ain't going to get me, but. No, he was hanging pretty tight. <laughs> it was wrong. <laughs> That's why Jordan carried that shotgun the entire time, yeah, just for that, that situation. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed just hanging out with you guys in the woods today. Yeah, us too. You know, you really have a, a very unique relationship, not only with the dog, but with one another, where you, you can get out and you can do this type of thing together. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we, we really enjoy it, and we hope to be able to do this for several more years. Well, thanks again. It, hey, the dog is pretty impressive. Yeah, he's looking up. He's still young.